Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A few months ago I had my darkroom photography films sent off to be processed into a readable film. You know, I went through the processes of maybe going to a photography studio to get them professionally printed on so I can then upscale them, maybe digitise them, etc, etc. And then I realised actually, before I end to do any of that, I want to try it at home. So, these are the ones I made earlier. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got quite a few of them that I want to be able to try out. And some of them have turned out really well, some of them have gone really dark. But it's a start. So, with this one, a couple of churches. And a really white film. And then some trees. But I had this idea of how I could blow the images up. And I don't know if it's going to work, but I am hoping it's going to work because I don't see why it can't work because it's basically the same way of how you project images on a projector. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set it up, fingers crossed that it works, I really do hope it works, and then hopefully I'll be able to try and work out how to broadcast it onto my wall. I'll stick a bit of paper there with a bit of blue tack and just draw away and then go from there really. So I'm always dead nervous because I'm really like, oh is this a massive waste of my time or is it just an, a genius idea? I should have came up more sooner. So I'm gonna get it ready and I'll see you in a second. Okay. You can't see because it didn't light up so often. <laughs> Hopefully. <gasps> it does work. So this is what's happening. I'm trying to project onto film. Hopefully you can kind of see what's happening. So you can see that it is blurry but there's definitely something there. So what I can do, I can get a piece of paper and just draw on top of it. What I want to be able to do is try and move the phone up so this image will come up here so that I can stick a bit of paper on and then go over and try and make some sort of shadow to draw from. I'm going to experiment with that and I'll try and work it out. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. <laughs> so, like I said, I won't get a proper image on it. However, that's not the point. I just want to be able to experiment with what I have. And try and find the best. So that one quite good because you can kind of see the fence panel there. I wonder how close or how far away I need to get to actually get a crystal clear image. So that you can see them quite clear as you get closer and closer. However, we want to try and do something different with it, so, because that one's got a really nice feature. My choice of material is going to be all the pastels because it's not a an image, it's more about what you can see. I'm just going to go for it and see how we are. This is recycled paper as well, so anything I do on it doesn't matter if it's wrong or right or completely balmy or ridiculous. <laughs> it is just experimentation. The first colour I actually picked up with is an orange, so I feel like I just draw the shapes that I can see. I just draw.
picked up a flesh coloured one, so I won't colour in the whole book, but I think I'll just do the outlines of it. I'm going to go for one that's got quite a lot of different shapes shape. like that one I picked up a weird blue cup very uh, bottom space. Just gonna The change. Okay, it's got a circle in it, so you know it means business. <laughs> I'm going to go for a dark blue. Same blue. So I'll go for a red instead. I'm gonna mess up my uh system, but we'll be alright. It's actually quite hard to be able to see the shapes as well because I feel like they are there.
questions for there. Oh, I want to see stable, it's not like lying in the other. Film's quite light, so it's quite difficult. Do one more. Just realised you had a bit, you were a bit too zoomed out, so hopefully you'll be able to see this last bit properly. I just probably got way too excited. <laughs> We don't have like a really dark black one. Um, so a bit too Let's go for green. Green for last. We've got. It's a bit like a kid's drawing, doesn't it? <laughs> but you know what? It's a start. So what I thought initially is that if I colour in all the bits to then make it like blocky, and I'm thinking more. It reminds me of CY Tomley a lot because obviously you've got all the lines and wonderful little bits in between. But it's just something different, and I work from home a lot when it comes to art. It's nice to know that I've got something out of it because I constantly feel like because I'm not in connection with an art, a proper art studio with other artists and then you've got the printmaking studio down the hall or the photography studio down the hall or a sculpting studio or some large space to be able to work with knowing that I can do that in this room makes me feel like just that little bit better <laughs> yes it's not exactly what I wanted to create but it's something it's something different that I would have never necessarily have done if I wasn't in this situation which makes me feel really happy because I can go away now and work out what I want to do with this because even though this is just one drawing this can easily be translated into a painting believe it or not because all I've got to do is block in all the little signs and it actually reminds me of Gardner? I, th I, I remember his name is Gardner if I remember who he is I'll um, leave him in the description box below but does this remind you of anyone? whether it be an artwork Impressionists, 
an artist. <laughs> but um i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys you can take what you want from it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and don't forget to check out my links in my description box to my social media also my ebay seven account which is where i sell all my artworks i feature my channel if you'd like to comment anything about this video please leave it down below if you can't do any of that please just like and subscribe it really does help me out in this whole getting to be a full-time artist situation but yeah i'm, I'm really glad you guys joined me on this because one, I recorded it, and two, it means I can record my process and how I got from A to B because I feel like not enough people do that. They just bang out an artwork and that's it. But um, yeah, see you guys later.